Today is a day where it's possible we could have tornadoes in the area because the winds are blowing in a certain direction at different levels and there's certain things going on the, in the atmosphere that say, yeah, we've had events in the past like this that are, are uh, possible for tornadoes. What is a tornado? This is a little video of a tornado here. This is a big monster, very strong storm out in Kansas. Uh, the true de definition of a tornado is a violently rotating column of air uh, extended from a thunderstorm cloud and in contact with the ground. You can see, watch this house right here, it's going to get damaged as it's torn apart by this big, big storm. Most people, they often die in flooding. Next biggest thing is lightning, followed by tornadoes and hurricanes. I'm not going to count heat-related deaths today in our talk. We're going to talk about mainly these types of threats, flooding, lightning, tornadoes, that sort of thing. In the United States, we have about 1,000 tornadoes. In Indiana, we average 20 each year. About three years ago, we had 20 in one day in the state of Indiana. So you can get a whole bunch in one day, or you can get a whole bunch in just one time. They can occur at any time, like I was mentioning, but the peak season is about April to June, which is right now. And uh, the biggest threat is blowing debris. That's stuff that's being blown about by the tornado. Where is a safe place to go during storms? Uh, so the first thing you want to do is get indoors, usually. If you're outdoors, get indoors when a storm strikes. That you, ideally, you want to put as many walls between you and the outside and stay away from doors and windows. Ideally, a good room would be essentially in the center of the building, maybe a hallway where there's no windows. And also, you want to get to the lowest floor of the building. Usually, a tornado will cause most damage to the top floors first. So if the lower you are in the building, if the building has a basement, that's a good place to be. Uh, some, some of the buildings like this have, be, uh, some of the restrooms are interior, they're all brick and there's no windows. Those are probably pretty good places to be as well. Finally, you want to cover up. Uh, if you can, at your house, in your, where you, if you have an area where you go for some storms, a good thing to do is you can cover your body with blankets or cover yourself with mattresses if necessary. Anything that will cover up your body because when a tornado is coming, most people get hurt by the flying debris. So anything that you can put on top of you to protect you from that flying debris will be helpful. So keep that in mind. And finally, like I was saying, you want to remain calm. Don't panic. Take your time to or be pro get quickly get to where you need to go, but uh, don't uh, be running people over or injuring others along your way. Before the tornado struck, that's what the plant looked like. That's where the 140 people worked. Afterwards, there's the tornado going through. And this is what the tor that's what the plant looked like afterwards. And the fact that there was 140 people there and they got to a safe location because they had a plan in place and they practiced their plan was a great, great success. When a tornado does that and you're in the car, that's going to be just like being in a bad, bad accident. Yeah. So you don't want that. So ideally, this is now this is only if the tornado is bearing down on you and you know it's going to hit you in your car. You get out of the car, you get in a ditch on the side of the road, bury the lowest spot, get down on the ground, cover your head, get your head down, get your face down, and cover up. Try to cover up as much of your body as you can. Uh, but you want to get out of that car because you know, a tornado can very easily pick that car up. Most people who die in flooding die because they drive their vehicles into floodwaters. So if you see a, wa a road that is covered with water, you want to find another way to go. You never know whether the road is even actually still in place underneath the ground there.